Hello, I'm Catherine and welcome back to my channel. Today, another foundation review. I mean, great foundations coming out right now, which is interesting from great companies. Um, the one I'm going to be reviewing today is the new NARS foundation. The name of this new one is their Light Reflecting Foundation. Let me tell you a little bit about it. It is supposed to reveal a more even skin tone by 93%. Um, it is supposed to, in the long term, improve the appearance of skin clarity over time, even after makeup is removed. I mean, I don't know about that. It's a medium, buildable coverage, natural finish, breathable all day wear, vegan formula, suitable for most skin types, and it is acne prone skin friendly. Um, so even if you have sensitive skin, this is supposed to be good for you. It is a hybrid foundation that instantly blurs imperfections, smooths the look of textured skin and pores, and helps conceal blemishes, dark spots, and redness. All of that sounds, all of that sounds great to me. Um, it has a couple of interesting ingredients, biomimetic oat which visibly improves clarity by reducing the appearance of redness and it's supposed to smooth and calm the skin. Japanese lily turf, which immediately strengthens skin's barrier, cacao peptides and milk thistle, which helps to reduce the negative effect of blue light and other environmental stressors. This sells for $49. You get the typical one ounce. Looks like 36 shades. Um, NARS foundation shades are very interesting. I, I've found, as I've watched a couple of reviews of other people wearing this, they've all been on the same page with me. They, they run a little warm. I've had a hard time finding my right shade. This is actually a good shade. We're gonna be trying this on in a second. Um, this is the shade Doville, which is what Finally, I feel like it's my correct shade. I have lots of NARS foundations. I have the Sheer Glow Foundation, which I have in the shade Santa Fe, which I'm not even sure. This is a little bit too dark, but it is a little bit sheerer foundation, so it's fine. Better in the summer. I also have the Radiant Longwear Foundation, which I thought was gonna be kind of similar to this, but this is more of their long wear type of foundation. I have their soft matte foundation, which I did not pick up for the longest time because I thought it was really not for me if you have more dry skin, but I love this one if you put it on very sparingly and use a hydrating primer underneath. And I have the NARS Tinted Moisturizer, which is really more than most tinted moisturizers. It's got a little bit more coverage and it's actually a very, very nice product. So that being said, the one we care about, the only one we care about is this new one. Let's go ahead and apply. I'm gonna be wearing all NARS products just like I did in the Charlotte Tilbury, just so we can kind of have fun and play and have a full day of makeup with this. So like I said, I'm in the shade Doville. And if you are interested in finding out more about how this foundation wears on me all day, then stay tuned. So this new foundation is getting a lot of hype. I'm very excited to try this. Um, I did put on some of the NARS Radiance Primer. This is also a sunscreen. I like this primer, it's really nice. I'll have all the products that I use listed down below because I'm not gonna list out all of them today. But this is one and I, I think this is a nice primer. So let's go ahead and get to the application. Again, here is the NARS. It comes with a nice little pump. Um, I'm gonna shake this because you just never know with foundations, you should always shake them up. I'm going to be using my Anissa Beauty Pinnacle Foundation Brush because it's the best. And I'm gonna do one pump, just one pump on my hand here. And I'm gonna do one side of my face so we can actually see the coverage, so I'll do just this side. So I'm gonna bring you in. You can see me apply it. The, this shade is perfect for me. If you are my similar skin tone, this is really nice for me. But NARS is tricky with these foundations. They're very warm. Okay, so it's blending in really smoothly and nicely. I like the feel of it on the skin. It's not super tacky. 
And I definitely think you can see a big difference between this side and this side. It's given nice coverage, but feels very nice. And I don't feel like I put very much on, which is great. So yeah, big difference on that. Ooh, I like the finish of it. It's really nice. Okay, let's see. I'm probably gonna have to get a little bit more. So maybe a pump and a half would do my whole face. I'm gonna go ahead and do this other side. Hmm. I do feel like I look lit up. It's not greasy. I hope you can see that. But it's definitely light. It's reflecting some light. So there's obviously something in it. I'm not sure what the ingredient is that is doing that. But that's really nice. Particularly for drier skin. This is nice because it's not going on heavy. Like a heavy drier foundation it's actually very smooth and i don't feel much tack on my skin which is really nice hmm that's good we'll see how it wears but applies very nicely and i'm really liking the finish of this on my skin okay so i'm gonna go off camera and put the rest of my makeup on again all of that will be listed down in the description box below and then I'm gonna do a wear test and I'll check in at the end of the night and we'll see how well it did all day. Okay, makeup is on and I had so much fun with this makeup today. If you want me to do a full face of this NARS makeup, I will, but I really had fun. I will highlight one thing. I had seen this from another makeup artist using the um, eye pigment, what do they call these? The tinted smudge proof eyeshadow base and I got this darker color. It's like a deep kind of a brown. And I put that all over my lid and then all I had to do was take, I have this little NARS orgasm palette and then I just put this shade here all over the lid and that was it. And I just love the effect of that. And it's long wearing and really nice. So I had so much fun putting on this makeup and I did all NARS. So again, let me know in the comments if you want me to do a full face of this NARS makeup. Um, I think I'll bring you in, but the makeup went on beautifully over this foundation. I love the way that it is sitting and it is not overly glowy, but I definitely feel health kind of coming from my skin. And you can see a little bit of like light reflecting. I don't know if you can see that, if that shows up on camera, but it's very flattering. It's just very flattering. I really like it. It's different from the Charlotte Tilbury. I'd, I'd have to do a full comparison but it definitely is different than the Charlotte Tilbury. It's a little bit thicker feeling, but not much. Really nice though. We're gonna do a wear test. I will come back at the end of the night and let you see how it wore, but so far I'm really, really pleased with this new NARS. And to be honest, it's the best of the NARS foundations that I've tried. This is by far the best for my skin type, normal to dry. And of course I'm 51, so if, you know, just to kind of put everything in perspective. I'm really enjoying this makeup and this is gonna be a fun wear test. So far, so good. I'll be back at the end of the night to show you how it wore and to give you my final thoughts. I'm back, it has been a while and I think you can tell, the only thing I did is I reapplied some lip gloss. These NARS lip glosses are great. This is in the shade Primal Instinct. And I really like it. I have a couple of those NARS glosses. They're great. They're very lightweight on the lips. But let's go back to this foundation. I really am enjoying this foundation. Uh, it has stayed on so well. It hasn't broken down at all. I'll bring you in so you can see a little bit better. But hasn't broken down even that much on my nose. And it's just the makeup went on so beautifully and I love having the little bit of reflection of the light, which is what I'm hoping you can see on the camera. It's really nice. I think this is a great foundation for over 40 skin. 
particularly if you have normal to dry or dry skin, I think you'll really enjoy this foundation. Now I wanna go back and preface that I did use this Radiance Primer with it. However, I don't think that that really had that, that big of a, an effect, but I do like having somewhat of a hydrating primer, especially in the winter time with drier skin. But I loved this whole makeup look and it just has lasted so, so well. I'm just very impressed. This foundation is really good. It is worth trying. It is by far my favorite NARS foundation. Like I said, I have all of these foundations from NARS and yet I don't really gravitate to pull them very often. So I like them, but I don't, they're not my top choices. This will definitely be a top choice for me. And I also like that the ingredients are really good in this foundation. This is a basically a clean foundation. If you, it doesn't have, um, the formula is very clean without a lot of the parabens and, sul and sulfates and talc and all the things that people don't want and they're looking for in a clean foundation. This one from NARS is really good and I just love the effect on the skin. I think it's very nice and the wear time has been fabulous. So enjoying this, this is one worth trying out. I am also go back and look. I did review the Charlotte Tilbury foundation. If you haven't seen that video, then check that one out, but pretty good stuff. I recommend it. Big thumbs up for me. I, I'm, I'm so far 2022 is starting off as an excellent year for makeup. Definitely an excellent year for foundations. So hope you guys are doing well. Look forward to seeing you in my next video. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe and click that notification bell. That way you will know every time I upload a video. Again, hope you guys are doing well, staying warm, and I look forward to seeing you soon.